process of declaring for the draft this year? Why was it important for you to do it? Uh, it was very important. It was it was a tough decision at that too because I I'm the type of kid that actually likes school. So like I, I actually enjoyed doing schoolwork and things like that. And I felt as though I, I created a bond with my teammates already, and we could have had a great team next year. We were so close to being in the final four this year. I felt as though we could have did the same thing next year, but. It was just a situation where it was an opportunity presented in front of me that I had to take advantage of. You're one of five boys. Are you the youngest? No, I'm the middle. I got two older, two younger. Yeah. What was that like growing up with five boys in the house? Uh, it's competitive. Mm -hmm. uh, and you compete in everything, video games, uh, just joking around, you know, whatever you want to do. I mean, we always compete in everything, but at the same time, we always support one another, too. So we're real close. We're like best friends. How would you describe your game? Uh, I would describe it as an overall, all-around player. Uh, I don't like to limit myself as just being a shooter like Ray Allen. So uh, I like to just try to do everything and contribute to a win as best as I can. Was there any aspect of your game that you weren't able to see while you were in one year ago? Um, probably my ability to create for myself, I, I would guess. Uh, I know that there's a lot of concerns with my ability to create for myself as well as others. So I think because I had two great guards with me who, who had the ball most of the time and who were distributing the ball more than I was. So I think uh, that would probably be my biggest biggest thing I need to showcase. The other issue people have is your height. I mean, there's really nothing that you can control. But right. um, how tall are you? I actually measure in 5'8". But <laughs> <laughs> no, but, no, I measured in 6'4 earlier today. So... Uh, Hopefully, I know my I'm not the average height of a shooting guard, but uh, that's why I want to become a combo guard and start developing my ball handling more and just try to become a point guard as well. Who did you watch growing up that you were starting to learn about the NBA and figure out that you wanted to play basketball? Who was who was the player that kind of fired your imagination? Actually, Allen Iverson was, uh, just because, uh, just the way he played. I mean, I was kind of, I wanted to wear the headbands like him. I wore his shoes, I wore his wristbands and everything like that. And I always wanted to be like him. And I think he was a great point guard. And I was a point guard when I was smaller. But I eventually began to start shooting the ball and it became into a shooter. And now I'm just trying to develop, put it all together now. So uh, I, I really mimicked him when I was younger. You had the braids too? I did have the braids too. When did you get rid of them? Actually, I just got rid of them in high school. My freshman year of high school. So I got rid of them, yeah. You're from St. Louis, played at Chaminade. How much uh, did you follow Larry Hughes in his game when he was coming up? Honestly, I didn't follow it too much. Uh, not until like he actually got in the NBA and I see him on TV. I'm like, oh, okay, I just watch him. But uh, I knew he went to our rival school in, in St. Louis. So, I mean, I really don't have too many, too many communications with him like that. But, uh, I mean, he's a great player. He's, he's done a lot for St. Louis. What's St. Louis basketball like? It's actually better than what people think it is. We have a lot of talent. Uh, there's probably going to be a few guys in next year's draft, if not the, the year after that draft. You have B.J. Young and uh, Ben McLemore and Roosevelt Jones as well. So, I mean, and then you got upcoming guys who will be freshmen next year, like Cameron B. Shot. So, I mean, there's a lot of great guys in St. Louis that people should really get to know.